listening to Good Morning Gwinnett, a division of Noise Media Network, hosted by Audrey Bell Kearney, sharing stories about people and places around beautiful Gwinnett County and beyond. Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Southern Living at its best. Good morning, good morning, good morning, all my Gwinnettians out there in Gwinnett land and all of you around the world listening to the sound of my voice. It is a beautiful cold day. <laughs> beautiful and cold. It's beautiful. It's, it's 37 degrees. It's going to get up to a high of 51, but right now it's cold to the point where I literally just turned my heat up. And um, I don't normally turn my heat up, heat up that much because I'm, you know, I'm kind of hot natured. So I'm like, you know, I sleep, with, I still sleep with the window open. <laughs> my husband said yesterday, he said, it's cold in here. feel like the window's open. I was like, yeah, it's open on my side. Because it was open on my side. Because I have to be able to breathe. So my window is open. But <clears throat> it's cold right now in my office. And I was like, okay, I need to turn the heat up because I'm a little chilly. It's a little chilly. I ain't going to even lie, but it's supposed to get up to 51, so that's a good thing. All right, so hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. Today is Tuesday, January the 18th. It's also National Michigan Day. It's National uh, Peking Duck Day. So if you like Peking Duck, go ahead and knock yourself out. It's National Thesaurus Day. I use a thesaurus all the time. I really do. Like I go to go, I have great ideas and I have to go to the thesaurus because I don't want I like being different. So I go to the thesaurus and look up words all the time. It's also National Winnie the Pooh Day. So I know we all like Winnie the Pooh and Tigger. Winnie the Pooh and Tigger, right? Yeah, yeah. So those are the national holidays for the day. We're going to go ahead and get this show rolling. Going to get started with our horoscopes brought to you by Noted Astrologer Michael Thyssen for today. Today is January the 18th. You know, Michael got some good stuff in store for you with the stars. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to kick it off like we always do. And that is with Aries. Find ways to mellow out. Look for something entertaining to do. You've got the competitive edge. You're in the mood to do things such as competitive sports or perhaps perhaps a night on the town. Listen, you got to mellow out, baby. Listen, Aries, mellow out. Find you something entertaining to do. Go to a sporting event or something like that. Just uh, go hang out on the town. Now, I don't know who hangs out on the town on a Tuesday. I'm Listen, that may be you and your adventurous side. Do your thing. Be careful, though. Be careful while you're out there. That's all I'm going to say. Taurus, be careful disclosing information. Make changes that will enhance your appearance and entice potential partners. Okay? Uh, partnerships could prove to be lucrative. All right, listen, make some changes, enhance yourself, entice your partners, okay? Now, listen, let me just say this. I'm going to say this, and I ain't going gonna, ain't gonna to harp on it. You want to make this, you want to enhance your appearance, right? But here's the thing. You don't want to do it just for the, for the sake of trying to, to get somebody because the thing I said yesterday, whatever you do to get them, nine times out of ten, you got to keep doing that same thing to keep them. That being said, be the real you. Now, if you want to enhance the real you, you know, not fake, like enhance. You may want to get your hair did a different color or something. But if you know you wear your hair natural and that's your style, don't go straight in your hair because that's, you know, you think that's going to get somebody. Because if that's not who you are, that's not going to work. I'm just trying to help you out. Just be who you are. Do the little enhancements. Don't make anything major. You know, if you got a flat booty, you got a flat booty. That's not all I'm saying. You know, do some squats or something. Yeah, I'm just trying to help you out. I was doing squats at the gym, and um, the guy was like, look, my knees are bad, because you got to have strong knees to do squats. Squats hurt my knees. But he was he was, he was, he was funny, because he didn't know I could, I could touch the floor. I've always been able to touch the floor, do splits. Even even being a big girl, I've always been able to bend all the way down, put my hands flat on the floor, and do splits and all that. I was like, I'm a little agile, right? But my knees hurt now, because I'm older. Um, but he was surprised. Was like, oh, yeah, I was like, yeah, I could touch the floor. I guess a lot of people can't touch the floor. I can touch the floor with both hands flat. I don't know. I can do a lot of things, but doing them squats, yeah, my knees be like crack, 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 crack. Yeah. What you, What are you doing, lady, to my, what are you doing to us? Yeah, them squats ain't no joke. Gemini, you may find yourself changing plans for some form of entertainment. Talk to people who can give you important knowledge. You are best to look into investments that will grow in value over an extended period of time. Listen, look into the investment. Consult a professional. Consult a professional. Speaking of investments, y'all know I'm watching NFT. And it's so funny. I think I said this yesterday, but I was watching this guy. and He was saying that you think it's going to go smoothly and kick off smoothly. It's not. He's right. I've been trying to create my collection for three days. 
and I'm still trying. Every time I create it, I see something that's, maybe I'm being a perfectionist. Okay, let me say that. Maybe I'm being a bit of a, of a perfectionist, but every time I create the collection, I find a flaw and I have to start all over again. And when I start all over again, it takes about four or five hours. So I got to start all over again today. So I'm going to start over because I got stuff to do anyway. As long as I'm not fumbling with that, I'll be fine. But I said all that to say NFTs can be an investment. I'm not giving out investment, investment advice. I'm telling you to consult a professional. That's what I'm saying. Cancer. You will meet new friends if you try new activities. You may find yourself in a predicament with family members. You will have to have a tendency to exaggerate, which will lead to major confrontations with loved ones. Okay, listen. Listen, Cancer. Don't exaggerate. Now, when people say exaggeration, I call that lying. Because if you're bending the truth and stretching the truth, you're lying. It's ex exaggerating my foot. You're lying. Don't lie today. You're going to mess up. You're going to mess around. You're going to have problems with your, 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 your family, your loved ones. Don't do that. Right? Right. You want to meet some new people, though. You go, You got to try some new activities. Go rock climbing. Let me tell you all a quick story. So one time, it was my husband's birthday, right? And I told I, I bought him a rock climbing pass, but he didn't know what I bought him. So I told his best friend, Tyrone, I said, listen, I'm, I'm going to give you an address. You just need to show up at the address. They're going to be waiting for you guys. And so Tyrone got all dressed up. My husband, they all dressed and whatever. And they got to the rock climbing place. It was hilarious. They were, Tyrone was so mad. He's like, I thought we was going to get a massage or something. Because I, I didn't tell him what the place was. was. I just said, I'm going to give you the address. Just show up at this address. And they're going to be waiting for you. And that's what they did. When they got there, it was a rock climbing uh, place. Now, my husband said it was different for him. Because he would have never done that on his own. Right? And I know he wouldn't have. Neither would Tyrone. And so... Um, when they got there, and then I think I paid for them to go to lunch or something. It was so funny. But Tyron was like, I thought we was going to get a massage or something. He got all dressed up with little khaki pants on and had to climb a, climb a rock wall. That jump was funny. Anyway, do something fun. Leo, take time to catch up on overdue correspondence. Update and review your personal investments. Be careful that you aren't saddled with responsibilities of others. Take some time, Leo. Take a minute. Matter of fact, take two. Catch up on the stuff that you got piled up on the kitchen table. I know, on the kitchen counter, in your bedroom. I know, because I got that. I got a pile of mail. I, we get so much mail. And I, I need to go through it. And I try to go through it on the weekends because I sit down and I go through it all. See what's junk. It's a lot of junk, too. A lot of junk mail. But anyway, anyway, Leo, you take some time to catch up on that stuff. Don't throw anything important away. And do update and review your personal investments. Yeah, take a look at the money. See what's happening with it. Is it growing? Is it not growing? Should you move it? Should you not move it? Take a look at it. Virgo, you can form new partnerships, but don't move too quickly. Things may not be as they appear. You mustn't give too much to children. You are best to avoid confrontations. Listen, don't move too quickly. Things may not be as they appear. All that glitter is in gold. Speaking of that, Speaking of all that glitter isn't gold, I made my acting debut last night. And listen, if you have not, go check out Dating Amari on YouTube. It's youtube.com backslash Dolly Hagler, H-A-G-L-E-R, youtube.com forward slash Dolly, D-O-L-L-Y Hagler. Check out episode number, check out all the episodes, but check out episode number three. I'm in episode number three. People have been calling me cracking up like you are a fool. I told y'all I like to have fun. So my daughter wrote the script. She wrote me into the script. But I kind of changed the script a little bit and did some ad-libbing and some improv on, 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 the, on the fly. And it was hilarious. So I made my acting debut last night. And uh, people loved it. And somebody said, I'm going to come back for season two if you're in season two. I got to tell my daughter, like, listen, people were requesting me to come back. Because I asked her, I said, are you going to write me to season two? And she's like, I don't know yet. I'm going to tell her, people are requesting me to come back to season two. Yeah, it was hilarious. I, I played a tarot card reader. So you got to check it out. Go to YouTube.com forward slash Dolly Hagler. That's my daughter's channel. And she get the, the show is called Dating Amari. And it is my, it's funny. The whole show, the whole, the whole, the whole series is funny. It really is. You, you got to watch these. Okay. So I think it was episode number two where she went on a date with the guy and they had to share the plate. Oh my God. You got to watch. It's so funny. But anyway. I just had to tell you that because inside the episode, I say something like, all that glitter isn't gold. Yeah, all that glitter, you know, everything it may not appear. It's not what it seems. It's not what it seems, Virgo. So don't be fooled. All right, I'm going to a song. I'll be right back after the song to give you more of the horoscopes brought to you by Noted Astrologer Micah Thais. And stay tuned. <laughs> I swear. 
Welcome back, welcome back. It's your girl, Audrey Bell Kearney, giving you the daily horoscopes brought to you by Noted Astrology, Micah Thoughts. I'm going to pick it up with Libra. Libra, get them, in, get, them, get them to pitch in if you need help. Don't let relatives stand in the way of your personal plans. You may have problems with skin, bones, or teeth if you haven't been taking proper care of yourself. Take care of yourself, Libra. You only get one you. Your skin, your bones, your teeth, your whole body. Take care of yourself. You know, do what you got to do. Take multivitamins, you know, what if that's what you need to do. Meditate, exercise, eat right, sleep well, drink water, all of that stuff. All of those good things for you, right? I know. all of that. I do some of those. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm getting better. I get better and better every day. Sleep right? Eh. Probably my worst one of all. Yeah, for real. Scorpio. You can beautify your surroundings by renovating or redecorating. Get out and have some fun. Deceit with coworkers is apparent. Okay, watch your back at work, Scorpio. Them backstabbers, they trying to get you. Watch your back at work. They've been deceitful. Just watch your back. Sagittarius, don't let your health suffer because of abuse. Don't be shy to promote your own interests. Discord may be unnerving. Okay, listen. Don't let your health suffer. Right, I just talked about that with Libra. Don't let you only get one. You take care of yourself, drink water, eat right, sleep right, exercise, meditate, whatever you got to do. Be quiet, be still, all of that good stuff. Take care of yourself, right? And don't be listen. If you got to promote, there was a book that came out years ago, it's called Shameless. Uh, shameless self-promotion a lot of times you don't want to promote your own interests because you don't want to be looked at as being self-centered egotistical or whatever right but if you don't promote your own interest who's going to promote it i'm just saying you know a lot of times i get asked to do a lot of things boards projects and things like that and the people are asking me because it's their interest that they're trying to promote why should i not promote the things that i want 
right? Because they invited you to come and speak because they need, they want something from you. And then don't be shy to say yes, right? And promote your stuff. I'm just saying, you know, sometimes it's, and it's a way to do everything. I'm not just saying be blatant about some things because you want to get invited back to some things. So you want to be really, you know, cautious about how you do things, but you can do it because you don't toot your own horn. Who's going to toot your horn for you? I'm just saying. Capricorn, take time to do something nice for yourself. You are best to concentrate on work. Get involved in activities of children. They will teach you far more than you expect. Take time to do something nice for yourself, Capricorn. My friend Sandra, her birthday was yesterday. I, 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 wish, uh, I gave her a shout out yesterday on the show. So I texted her last night because she had pictures on Facebook. She won, She's one of those people that love Facebook like my brother. I texted her because she had pictures on Facebook. They had on no jackets. They were drinking cocktails, and I saw I saw palm trees. I was like, where are you? Because it's freezing right now where I am. And she was like, I'm in Florida. I was like, oh, okay, she's in Miami. I like my. Let me tell you, there's not a lot of places that I go that I want to go and visit twice. Well, Miami was one of those. I actually really like Miami. Um, I will go back to Miami. That's my third time. This will be my, this will, if I go back again, it will be my third time. The first time I went, I went for my birthday. It was cold in February. So I didn't really do anything but chill out, which was fine with me. Um, this time I went, I went with my daughter for her birthday, and it was great. I was like, okay, I like this. I even like the hotel that we stayed in. It was right there, smack on, um, God, what was it? It was on a strip. Everybody was driving by. I loved it. It had a port. I was like, see, I like this. I can't even remember the name of the hotel, but I will go back to Miami again because I actually liked it. It was I could walk to all the restaurants and eat, eat great food. I went to this Italian restaurant. I had pizza like I've never had it before. It was like this very thin. Um, it, it probably was like the real pizza. It was like not the stuff we normally eat. It was a real Italian restaurant with real Italian sodas and real Italian pizza and calzone. I loved it. It was delicious. I used, I used to eat I used to eat Italian food all the time. I call myself a black Italian. But I went to this restaurant. It was delicious. So I will go back to Miami. Another place that I've gone that I like and I will go back is, and I've been here twice as well, is New Orleans. I like New Orleans. I will go back. I think when I go to New Orleans, though, I would definitely have to get me a car. Because I think I missed a lot of stuff. And those tours that we went on and paid all that money for, they weren't worth it. So I will go back and I will rent a car. Um, Uber is expensive, so I'm not really trying to do Uber. I will rent a car and I will go and really see um, New Orleans the way I want to. All right, cool. Anyway, Aquarius, use your better judgment before you sign up for a costly venture. You need to get out and challenge yourself. You can set your goals and make a beeline for your target. Okay, listen, you need to get out and challenge yourself. I don't know what that means. You know, you leaving the house could be a challenge for you. You know what I'm saying? You walking across the street, but you challenge yourself, though. Do something different. You do something different. You change your brain waves. In your, in your, you change your, the, the, your mindset and the waves in your brain. You do. You do something different. You create a new energy. Um, I try to do something different all the time. I mean, it could be something tiny. Like, you know, um, I went to uh, the park one day, which I, I never do that. I just decided, you know, I'm going to go to the park. I used to go to the bookstore all the time. I don't I haven't done that in a long time. When you, when you start to challenge yourself, and, and right now a challenge for me is really like going outside of the house. That's a challenge. And that's, that's probably a challenge for a lot of us. Because I don't know what I'm going to get when I leave. It's just, ugh, it's so crazy. I don't want to talk about that anyway. Anyway, you can set your goals and make a beeline for your target. Set some goals, focus on the target, and, and take the action that you need to hit the target, right? Setting the goals and focusing on the target is good. But you got to take some action. You got to take some action steps, okay? All right. Last but not least, my fellow fish Pisces, you have to deal with large institutions. Be careful not to make waves. Try to spend some time on your own. Don't upset elders in your family who don't understand your present situation. All right. All right. Spend some time on your own. Try to spend some time by yourself today, Fish. And you have to deal with some large institutions. Here's the thing. Don't go in there being your old vibrant stuff and shaking up things. You don't want to make waves, not with this particular institution. It could be the matter of you losing a contract, a great deal. You know, just be... Be still, be quiet, and listen. I know we can be a little rambunctious sometimes. We can be a little overbearing sometimes. I'm just telling the truth. We can be a little bit, a little bit overbearing. We can be a little bit opinionated. Today is not the day for that fish. None of that. Just sit there and listen. It's going to be a big deal. You don't want to blow it. I'm just trying to help. I'm just trying to help somebody out. And don't upset elders in your family who don't understand. Listen, everybody's not going to understand your situation. 
right? Just just nod your head and keep it going, especially if they're older. That's what I do. I just be ignoring folks. When I, when I know that they don't understand what I'm talking about, I don't even try to explain it so much. Like, if I explain it and I get pushed back or I get some negativity, I leave it right there. Okay, that stays right here with you. I got to keep moving. That's what you got to do today. All right? All right, cool. So, all the horoscopes I got for today, I'll be back again tomorrow at 10 a.m. God willing to bring you more of the horoscopes brought to you by Noted Astrology Micah Thassa. Now, let's get on to some news that you can use. So, apparently, we have a blood shortage here in, in the state of Georgia. And they are looking for you to come out and donate some blood. And they have some locations for you to do that. The Red Cross said we need blood. We need you to come out. We need you to make donations. So I'm going to give you a few locations that where you can go and donate blood and the times. Okay. So January 25th from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m., the City of Lawrenceville Public Works, which is located at 435, is looking for you to come and donate blood. Also on January 25th from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m., Eastside Medical Center, located at 1700 Medical Way in Snellville, is looking for you to come out and donate some blood. All right. Um, on January 27th, from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m., the Gwinnett County employees, um, we want you to come out and donate blood, and that's located at 75 Langley Drive in Lawrenceville. Um, on January 28th, from 1 p.m. to 6.30 p.m., you can go and donate blood at the Loganville First Methodist Church located at 221 Main Street. And on January the 31st from 2 p.m. to 7 p.m., you can also go and uh, donate blood at uh, Corinth Christian Church located at 1685 Howie Southwest. Howie 81 Southwest, and that's in Loganville as well. So if you want to donate blood, you can go and donate blood. They need some blood. They are low. They're running low on supplies. There are a lot of people being hospitalized for a lot of different reasons, um, and so they need blood. So they're doing blood drives all across the county, and they need you to come out and donate. All right? Cool. All right. Now, listen. I don't know if y'all ever seen vultures. Vultures are not good-looking birds. They just aren't good-looking birds, you know, and I've seen them. I've seen them just kind of, and they don't, let me tell you something about a vulture. They don't run from you. They're not afraid of you. Like they, you can walk right up on a vulture. I've seen it. I pretty much walked up on a, on a couple of them. I was at the park over in Browserton and they were just, they were just like hanging out. I took pictures of them, but they're just not beautiful birds. But here's the thing. We must have a problem and they're protected species. Um, but we must have a problem with them because right now the Department of Agriculture and the Department of Natural Resources, so they got to shoot off some pyrotechnic devices because the birds are up on the towers in Swanee and they don't want them to cause problems with our communications. Yeah, like there are some towers in Swanee located at Shadowbrook Church property at 4187 Swanee Dam Road. The birds are just hanging out. That's, their, that's where they hang out at. They're roosting up there and they don't want to... You know, they don't want to have to, uh, apparently, uh, I'm about to say something disgusting, but that's what the, this is what the article says. In AJC, it says the birds go up and they poop and they vomit on the roofs and on the towers and it could cause problems with the communications. It could cause problems with the maintenance. I didn't know we even had that problem. I can tell you this though. I remember, it was crazy. I remember going, I was going up with Grayson Highway. There is a subdivision if you're coming from if you're coming from Sugarloaf Parkway, going up Grayson, Ho Grayson Highway, there's a subdivision on the left. I forgot the name of it. But I went inside the subdivision looking around because I had never gone there. It was an empty lot on the subdivision, which is, that's rare. It's hard to find an empty lot. And I was like, oh, there's an empty lot. But listen, there was a tree on the lot, and it had all these vultures on it. And they were kind of just, when I tell you they were kind of hanging, like one of them had his head hanging down. It looked like, I was like, okay, so why is it not a house on that lot? And why does it have all these vultures on the lot, on the tree? It was crazy. It looked spooky. It looked like something out of a scary movie. But anyway, apparently there's a problem, and they got to get rid of the vultures. They, they're not going to kill the vultures, but they're going to shoot off some fireworks. So residents in Swanee, if you hear fireworks being shot up, shot up between uh, January 19th and Friday, January 21st, that is the Department of Agriculture and the Department of Natural Resources shooting off fireworks because they got to get the vultures off the cell towers. Apparently it could, it could mess up your, your communication. So they got to get rid of them and they don't want you to be alarmed because that's what it's going to be. They're going to shoot off a bunch of them to get the birds off the cell towers. I didn't even know that was a problem. Apparently there's a problem with the vultures. I'm just, listen, the, the stranger things have happened. I'm just saying. All right, I'm going to a song. I'll be right back after this song to give you more of the rundown of what's going on in and around Gwinnett County. Stay tuned. 
goes by and yet I wonder Are you and me still the same? Are you still loving the game? I know I don't You cast your spell and I went under I know the laughter and the pain Will I ever love again? I don't know if I can take it anymore I got a few, um, but I love that one. That's one of my favorites. All right, so listen, um, it has been official. Everton Blair has officially launched his campaign to run for the superintendent of schools here in, in um, school superintendent for the state of Georgia. You know, he I talked about it, I think, last week. You know, he, he had said he was stepping down earlier. Um, last year, he said he was stepping down from the from the position he held in Gwinnett County, and nobody knew what he was going to do. But then he announced that he was going to be running for the school board. So now it is a um, the state's uh, school superintendent for the year. Now it's official. It has you know it's been no secret that he wanted to you know um, do some big things. He's a young man. He's ambitious, and I wish him all 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 the best on his campaign. He is he's ready to kick it off. I guess he feels like you know what I can do better than what we have right now and maybe he can we don't know but we will see we shall see so he is officially kicked off his campaign and um it's gonna be a lot of campaigns kicked off and we'll probably try to get him on the show as well to, on the uh, popcorn and politics show so um yeah so th- be sure to tune in this sunday this sunday at 1 p.m live we're going to be talking to state rep donna donna mcleod who's also running for the um uh, the congressional seat here in Georgia, who she's running against Lucy McBath and Carolyn Bardot. That's both all Democratic women, which is nuts. I think that's crazy. Um, so, you know, Lucy McBath, she was over in, in her district and they they redrew the lines um, on the voting map and that kind of pushed her out. So she decided she was going to come over here and run against Carolyn for her district. And then Donna jumped in the race and I'm running against both of you. So 
This is going to be a jam-packed race. Um, we're going to try to get Lucy on the show as well. Carolyn, we already put a call out to her team. Don McLeod is going to be here Sunday at 1 p.m. on Popcorn and Politics. Be sure to follow us. Go to popcornandpolitics.com to find out more. If you are a political political candidate or political official and you want to be on the show to talk about what you're doing in your community um, go to popcorn and politics and fill out the guest request form there and we'll get back to you and book you right now we're booked up through march well i think we may have two days available in march so far the show is growing quickly more rapidly than i thought it would grow and um and we are booked up all of all of february is already booked january is booked and I think we have two two spots left in um, in March. So if you want to be our guest on the show, be sure to go to popcornandpolitics.com, and um, you can you can fill out the guest request there. But yeah, so we you know Everton to say he's running, and so it's gonna this, listen. This campaign season is gonna be a season to remember, just like 2020 was. It really is. I just feel like it's a lot going on right now, and it's and it's gonna be a lot more. I just do. Um, traffic will shift to a new permanent alignment after evening rush hour Tuesday on the interchange, which is today, between Harbors Road and Georgia 316 near Decula. Message boards and flaggers will direct drivers according to a news release from the Gwinnett County. The new bridge across Georgia 316, also known as University Parkway, will have two westbound left turn lanes and a single eastbound lane, as well as through lanes. The new interchange has... Full eastbound and westbound access ramps. Yeah, if y'all can see me right now, I'm sitting here moving, doing like these hand gestures as, as if I'm directing traffic myself. This is so funny. When I get on videotape, and I have to be very mindful of this, I, you'll get to see me. And not, not that you want to see me, but I'm just saying, I'm going to be going live stream video pretty soon. Got to get my health together, and then I'm going to move into the studio, and that's what I'll be doing. So you'll get to see all of this. I, I'm sitting here right now talking to you guys. As if I'm directing traffic. I'm looking at myself like, what are you doing, girl? What are you doing? But anyway, um, they uh, the new interchange has a full eastbound and westbound access ramps and a collective distributor road with direct access to Sugarloaf Parkway, according to the county. So it is it's happening. Yeah, it's happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's a lot going on with building. There's a lot going on with development here in, 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 um, in Gwinnett County. As a matter of fact, Harbin Road, um, if you go, if you come off of, let me see, what is that? If you come up, if you go 316 West coming off of Sugarloaf Parkway, you're going to run into Harbin's Road. But if you go down a little bit further on the left-hand side, there's a new, a new subdivision here. They're, they're building a new subdivision right there. And and so they need these highways. They need these bridges. They need these, they need all of these things um, to make sure that, um, you know, we got access, easy access to, so that traffic can flow because Gwinnett is getting crowded. It's getting crowded, and so we need this access so traffic can flow good. Otherwise, we're going to be backed up like Atlanta. I'm just saying. I know some people don't want to hear it. It's the truth. It's the truth. It's the truth. All right, so listen here. Archer may have a new football coach coming because the football coach that started the program, Andy Dyer, he said, you know what? It's time to Yep, 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 yep. He's been the football coach since the inception of the team, which um, was opened in 2009. Yep. Yeah, so Diet launched the Tigers program when the high school opened in 2000. So Archer High School is a pretty new school, opened in 2009, and he has been the only head football coach since 2009. That's right. So now he's leaving. Um, I don't know where he's going. Where are you going, sir? Yeah. Yeah. You know, and it's maybe he's just tired, y'all. Maybe he needs to. Um, they say he still plans to coach high school football. But likely as an assistant, he said, closer to where I, uh, where he and his wife recently moved to. So they moved to Labonia. Where is Labonia? So, yeah, so coming down here to Gwinnett is probably far. Yeah, so he, he, he is stepping down. He's resigning. Um, for the past 13 years, it has been my honor to serve as the head football coach of Archer High School. Dice said in a statement, football is the greatest team game that exists. During any time at Archer, I have been blessed with people by my side who have been the best teammates and head coach could a head coach could ask for. He said that is nice. You know, it's so funny because I texted to my brother because my brother wants to coach. Now, what was what was interesting when he moved here? He said he would coach, but he wouldn't coach until my nephew goes to college. Right? My nephew is a sophomore. He'll be a, a junior. My nephew is a freshman. He'll be a sophomore this year coming up. And he has three years left, but these jobs keep popping up. So I text him. I'm like, hey, uh, Archie football coach is stepping down. 
you know, and um, he's like, really? And I was like, yeah. So my brother loves football. He, he coached high school football for 20-something years. We moved to Georgia. My nephew plays high school football. He, you know, he said he, he wouldn't coach until after he left. But I know he has a bug, so that's why I told him about it. I told him that, you know, the, the, the position is open. But anyway, to read the full story about the head coach, leave and go to Gwinnett Daily Post. You'll find it there. It's a full story, y'all. I can't read the whole thing. It's a lot going on. It's a lot going on in the story, so I can't read it all. I be trying to give y'all as best I can, as best I can here. Um, but it's, it's sometimes that stuff is a lot. Like, I see, I be reading forever. You don't want me seem to be stumbling, blumbling, reading forever, right? I always talk about this right here because eventually I'm going to go. I always tell, I always talk about it because eventually I'm going. So, duck yo, I mean, goat yoga. Yeah, eventually I'm going to get a chance to go. It's going to be cold this weekend, though. I don't want to go when it's cold. Probably need to go when it's cold. Anyway, if you want to do goat yoga, it's happening this Saturday um, at 2 p.m. Goat yoga located at 21 Tig Knight Road in Logan. If you want to go do goat yoga, you got to go to the goat farm. Goat yoga, yeah. I, I want to go, and I try, and I told my daughter, I said, I told her we were going to go, um, but I got to wait till the weather break. I don't like being cold, so I got to wait till the, the weather break, but well, I don't even know what the benefits of goat yoga is. But I just see these people that are down on their knees and the goat is standing on their back. And every time I see that, I say I'm going. And um, and I'm going to go. As soon as the weather breaks and it's a, we got a nice day and they do goat yoga, I'm going to go. But if you want to go do goat yoga, yeah. They said they got some Nigerian dwarf goats. And they and it's great It's great for stress relief. And you get lots of... Listen, you can't help but... But not to be stressed because you're laughing because a goat is standing on your back. Like, I can see how that could be stress relief. Like, really? Think about that for a second. You're down on your hands and knees and you're kind of freaking out laughing and giggling because there's a goat about to jump on your back. Think about this picture. That I want you to vision that for a second. Think about that. So I can see why that would be funny. Anyway, the class will be held outside in a beautiful fence, well-maintained pasture area with an antique Ford truck and a beautiful barn as a background setting. There will be plenty of space for social distancing. In case of inclement weather, weather class will be moved inside the amazing indoor. Okay, they got a barn. So maybe I will go. No, I think I, oh, I got to teach a class Saturday. I can't go. I'm teaching an entrepreneur class, her startup. I'm teaching that class. I got 10 women in the class right now. Um, I'm partnered with a nonprofit called By Faith Global Ministries. The pastor and the founder of that organization asked me to come and teach a class for the organization. We have 10, 10 women in the, in the program that are learning how to start and grow a business. And so I am teaching that class on this set this Saturday. So I can't go. Sucks. Sucks, right? I can't go. Um, but I will get my chance to go. When I get my chance to go, I'm going to take some pictures because I feel like that is just thinking about that makes me smile. For real, like I'm thinking about that, and it's like, okay, that's funny. Yeah, when you when you picture the goat standing on the back of your back, that's that's funny. Um, so I got to give y'all an update on my NFT, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna go to my last song. So yeah, I know I'm launching an NFT, right? Um, I'm launching this NFT. I got this idea over the, like last week. I've been running, 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 trying to get it done. It's exciting because it's very technical. Um, it's exciting because that's where we're headed as a as a world. Like we're going into what's called the metaverse, and um, NFTs are going to be right now. It's like new and it's weird. It's you know you don't know what it is. Well, it's going to change. It's going to change. We're going to be doing a lot of things with cryptocurrencies and NFTs and metaverse and virtual 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 reality, augmented reality. And I know for some of you, you're saying, "What is she talking about?" What I'm saying is, pay attention. That's what I'm saying. Pay attention to what we're doing. Um, follow me. Even if you don't like the music and the horoscopes, listen to the stuff I talk about when it comes to business because that's where we're going. I like technology. A lot of people are afraid of technology. But we need to be we need to be smart and understand technology because right now, um, everything we do is technically based. And it's not going to change. It's only getting smarter. I watched a video the other night. They have robots that look like people. I'm talking about literally look like real people. They move. The robots were dancing. It's crazy. But we have to pay attention to that stuff. Now, what I'm doing right now is kind of like a fun project. I'm trying to see how the, how the, how the, how the technology works. So I'm launching my own NFT. 
Um, hopefully I'll sell some, you know, it'll be great. I would love, I can't wait to see, you know, what happens, but right now I have a whole lot of issues with the, with the, with the collection. My collection is, is, is pretty big. So in my collection of NFTs, I have an NFT collection of 5,555 pieces, unique pieces, right? And because I have these 5,000, 5,555 pieces, I'm having issues with the way the graphics are showing up on on in on online and i don't like the way it looks i keep redoing it every time i redo the, the collection it takes about four hours to render and so when it renders i find another problem so maybe i'm being a little bit of a perfectionist i hope not but i just want to make sure if i'm going to put it out there it's like the best i can put out because it is a one time i'm not doing that collection again that's a one-time collection um it's 555 5555 5, unique designs based on this one design and i'm excited about that so um you know you want to make sure that what you're doing is something you know that you're proud of so i, I that's why i keep doing it over you know my uh, my husband asked me how's it going like ah it's going good then i looked at him oh i gotta change some things but anyway i said all that to say nfts are not going anywhere they're going to be a part of our, our, our regular uh, uh conversations as we move forward um, the metaverse is not going anywhere. Augmented reality is not going anywhere. Virtual reality is not going anywhere. Um, as a business person, you meet, you may want to check these things out and see how to make them a part of your life. I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff in the tech space. I'm working with the Gwinnett, um, Greater East Side Chamber. I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff there. I'm working with Blacks United and Technology. I'm doing a lot of stuff there in the tech space. I'm a chair um, for the Metro Atlanta area for the... Um, for the Blacks United in Leading Technology, I'm the chairperson. And for the Greater East Side Chamber, I'm also one of the chair people over there. And I'm going to be switching positions probably pretty soon to head up the tech space. So there's a lot going on. And um, I'm, you know, I'm going deep into tech. I'm testing things out. I'm the person that can find things and put things together and make them work, even if I don't know how to code. And I don't know how to code. But I know how to find the best code and put it all together and make stuff work. So... Um, my NFT is coming along. I'm going to talk more about it. It's an NFT. Um, I have 555 5, unique pictures in my NFT. Um, and so I'm just trying to go through the rendering process right now. It's, and then after I go through the rendering process, I hook my Coinbase wallet to my OpenSea platform, which is where people... So my, think of OpenSea as like a Shopify. People will go to OpenSea to buy my NFT once it's, once it's live. And, and my shop, my money, my, my, my Ethereum, which is a cryptocurrency, will go into my Coinbase wallet. My Coinbase wallet is connected to my bank account, my, phys my regular bank account. I can sell my Ethereum and turn it into cash, and the cash will go into my account. So I know that's a lot, but that's how it works. And so, But I got to first get the collection out. So I just wanted to share that with you guys and let you know that this space is not going anywhere. I will be talking more and more and more about it. If you're in the if you're in the Gwinnett County area, you know we're going to be talking more about you know how to incorporate this into your business. Um, if you are African American and you want to learn more about technology, go to meetup.com or go to built.org. B-U-I-L-T.org. I am the chairperson for the metro uh, metro Atlanta area, and I got a symposium coming up. I'll be talking about that more too. Um, um, built is based out of Dallas. I'm in the metro area, and so and I've been the I've been the, I've been the chapter president I think two years now. I think I'm going into my second. Maybe is it? I maybe almost at three years, um, but I've been the chapter president between two and three years for that for that organization. So a lot going on. Don't be afraid of technology. It can help you ease your ease, ease some of the things that you go through in life. All right, all right. So I'm going to a song. I'll be right back after this song to give you my words of inspiration. So stay tuned before I shut it down for the day. <music>
into the day. Welcome back, welcome back. That's all I got. But before I go, I want to give you my words of inspiration. Here goes. It says, if you have a positive attitude and constantly strive to give your best effort, eventually you will overcome your immediate problems and find you are ready for greater challenges. Ah, let me say that again. If you have a positive attitude and constantly strive to give your best effort, eventually you will overcome your immediate problems and find you are ready for greater challenges. Pat Riley said that and he was absolutely right. Listen, I'm ready for this challenge of this NFT. I'm ready for the challenge of the metaverse. As a matter of fact, it excites me. I know for a lot of people it's scary because it's technology, but I'm telling you like I'm telling you, while you're spending time just fo uh, focusing on your friends on Facebook, you might want to go and look at where we're going because you want to be prepared when that time comes for you to make a move. My goal is to, is to make people prepare. My goal is to share information and resources and tools that are necessary. So make sure that you that you follow me. Don't be afraid. You know, prepare, give your best, and don't be afraid of technology. It's not going anywhere. I don't know if y'all know it or not, but artificial intelligence, human robots that look like humans. People talking about marrying them in Japan. They're already having relationships with robots. How is that possible? Because people have said, "This is what I want." I ain't got to worry about no no diseases. You know, it's crazy. It sounds so crazy. Dude, I'm not saying this. Go do your research. You got your phone in your hand. Go Google it. They're already in relationships in Japan with some. I'm just saying. It's already happening. And it's not going to stop happening. Technology is not going anywhere. You need to listen and you need to be prepared. Now, I get it. It's a, it's a, it's a little bit, it's a little bit, uh, 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 uh. It's a little bit strange. It's a little bit woo-woo. It's a little bit out there. But everything, who would have thought that we that the microwave would be a staple in, in every home in America and across the world? Who would have thought that? A microwave that can cook your food in like 30 seconds. Yeah, who would have thought that? Well, it happened. Who would have thought, who would have thought that you could fly a car? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you could fly a car. You're right. Who would have thought that a car could drive itself? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Who would have thought that there would be a car that would drive on land that could drive right off in the ocean and turn into a boat? Who would have thought that? Listen, it's not going anywhere. Prepare yourself for the future. Don't get left behind. So I got for you today. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you spent the last 49 minutes with me. And I love and appreciate you for that. If you miss any episode of this show, be sure to go to goodmorninggwinnett.com to listen to past episodes there. Also, be sure to follow me on Facebook at Good Morning Gwinnett. Follow me on Instagram at Good Morning Gwinnett. And follow me on the Twitter at GM Gwinnett. If you listen to the Good Morning Gwinnett show on your on Apple Podcasts, find your favorite two episodes over there and give it five stars, like, love, and subscribe to the show as well. And download the app from the App Store. Whether you got an Android phone or an Apple phone, there is a Good Morning Gwinnett app in your App Store. Download the app for me. That way you never miss a show. Carry me in your pocket. Yeah, I can only fit in your pocket on the app, though. <laughs> Trust me when I tell you that. It's the only way I can fit in your pocket on the app. So carry me in your pocket on the app. You guys take care out there. I'll be back again tomorrow at 10 a.m. God willing. Stay safe. And until next time, my friends, thank you again for listening. And until next time, make it a great day. Bye, y'all. You've been listening to Good Morning Gwinnett. Make sure to tune in Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time to find out what's happening around Gwinnett. If you like this episode, subscribe now and share with your friends. To learn more about Noise Media Network, visit noisemedia.us.